Hello again guys, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice. I'm sorry about the weird angle, but my camera ran out of battery, so I'm filming on my phone, so y'all are gonna be looking up at me just a little bit. So today I'm gonna be doing a, um, an unboxing, um, and this is actually my very first ever uh, mystery reseller box. Um, I got this on Poshmark, I will link the details down below. However, um, let me give you a little bit of background about why I'm doing this. Um, so it is December right now, I have no death pile, as I've mentioned in many videos, so I am looking for things to source. Um, I can only get out to thrift stores once a week, if that, um, and obviously in winter things happen. So with the kids, if somebody is sick or if my husband has to work or there's a holiday, you know, family thing happening, then that kind of blows out of the water the fact that I can go thrifting that weekend. So I'm really looking for ways to um, source differently just in the winter months. In the spring, summer and fall, I'm all about church rummage sales and yard sales and things like that. Um, but in the winter, my well has kind of run dry in terms of sourcing quality items. So here we are experimenting and um, trying to figure out exactly how we can go about that without leaving the house, if that's even possible. And um, if you're interested in Thread Up at all, I do have a um, an unboxing video for that as well. It's either already posted or be posted very shortly. Do go ahead and subscribe so you can check the one out as well. It is not a rescue box. It is sourcing through the clearance and using coupon codes and stuff to get like high-end brands for the same kind of prices that I would get in thrift stores between five and six dollars delivered to my home to sell online. So if that sounds interesting, please do stick around and check that one out too. Okay, so without further ado, let's just crack into this. Um, I've never done this before. I've never had a mystery box before. This box was $25 before shipping and it's supposed to contain five items. Um, I did take a lot of time looking at reviews for the seller and um, specifically about their mystery boxes. Um, and I decided eventually that it was just time to give it a go and, you know, win or lose. It's an exciting thing to do. So let's open the box and see what is in there. Um, shipping on Poshmark was also $6.49, so that's a total of $31 and change, which puts each item at around around roughly $6 to $6.50 a cost. So let us see if I would pay that in the first style. First of all, it's adorable. She has packaged this in such a nice way, in tissue paper and with really cute little thread. And then this, oh, I got a little drink coasters, merry and bright. So we will go ahead and use those in the Christmas season. That's super sweet as a free gift. Um, okay, let's open them up. So each item is individually wrapped. There does appear to be five items. I'll take the string off. I'm nervous, don't judge me. All right, first item. Nike golf. All right, cool. Nike golf. No little. Is it a skirt? No, it's short. It's like a skirt. There we go. Let's, let's go with that one. <laughs> let's go with that one. So it's like a, a little skirt. It does have built-in shorts. These are very cute. They're in fantastic condition. Um, little black embroidered Nike sign at the back here. Um, let me see. They're a size two. Nike fit dry. Nike golf. Yep. There's definitely some resale value in that on either eBay or Poshmark. So you know, that's totally fine. That is definitely not a bust. Good stuff. Let's do this one. Oh, it's like Christmas. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Faye. Faye, this is anthropology, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and check the RN number in just a second. I really hope that this... I'm so used to my camera that, like, zooms in. So, okay. Yay. Oh, this is adorable. So, little blouse. It has, like, an elastic sort of kind of like an embroidered detail right here at the waist it also has some beautiful embroidery right here at the chest this is definitely a very nice piece i can throw the word boho in the title and stuff like that let's have a good look over at the condition i don't see any marks at all it seems to be in very nice shape and um, definitely could list this for around 25 dollars i will of course be looking up comps um with the my information's on the tag. What am I doing? Um, yep, 66170. It, uh, the trim is 100% silk. It is 100% cotton. It is an anthropology piece. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's lovely. So far, so good. Oh, there's a little card that says, thank you for supporting my small business. And I appreciate that also being a small business. So, heck yeah, support small business. <laughs> if we can help each other, why on earth would we not? All right, what do we have here? Nike Pro, this is size small, leggings. 
with a like neon yellow, white and black, almost like a geometric print, like full length leggings. Yep. I like those. Absolutely. I will be listing those on both Poshmark and eBay as I will basically with everything else. Here's the swoosh down here. That's a nice piece. The old current styles as well. I'm going to go ahead and point that out right now. Like I'm impressed that, that, you know, so often we get the good brands, but the styles are nothing interesting, but those are really good styles. I'm glad with that so far. All right. What do I have here? Oh, a jacket. Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Oh, okay. I actually have never found this brand before. But to my knowledge, that is a good brand. And this is a beautiful pinstripe one button blazer. Has like, there's a detail at the back here where you can see some brown peeking through. It's on both sides, obviously. This is a well made piece. This is nice. This is a size 10, so it's a great size. Um, I can't wait to look up some comps for this. That is. I'm happy with that. That's a great piece. I would pay five to six dollars for that in the thrift store, no problem. All right, and my final item of the box is, oh, score, small, size small, free people. I'll tell you why I say score as well. Oh, this thing is amazing. Okay, so I say score because while all free people is not created equal, I wouldn't pick everything up. I really wouldn't. This is the kind of item I would grab in a heartbeat. So it's a short sleeve, but it's a massive oversize, almost has like a Southwestern feel to it, which is absolutely fantastic for keywords and really just for style and stuff. Here's your color palette, really beautiful. Absolutely perfect for this time of year. I want to keep it so bad, <laughs> I can't even tell you. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna sell it because that's the point, but this is a fantastic piece. Let's go ahead and look at condition as well and make sure that uh, it's all as it should be. I'ma try it on. <laughs> if I can find the arms. All right. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. Like it's not really my style. Like with kids, I would like lose them in the layers, I think, and stuff. But just the oversized and the print and the knit, and it's really long. It's like a handkerchief, uneven hem and stuff. I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and declare this box a win. Um, like I said, it was $25 for the five pieces plus the shipping put each piece at around $6.50. Some pieces I would have paid that for them in the thrift store, some pieces I wouldn't have, but it all evens out in the end. There was absolutely nothing in this box that I couldn't list and sell with pride. The condition is phenomenal. Uh, by the way, I'm going to disclaim, I don't know this person. <laughs> I spoke to them about buying their box. They were extremely pleasant and helpful. Outside of that, I have no idea who they are. They don't know who I am either, to the best of my knowledge. I don't know why they would. We don't follow each other or anything like that. The condition is fantastic. There is no flaws whatsoever. The pieces smell fresh and clean. They look like well-pressed, very packed in a really nice manner. Like I am 100% impressed with this box right now. So in terms of a my first experience with a posh seller, a posh seller, posh mark reseller box, this is definitely two thumbs up. This is a really good start. All right, guys, if you can hang in just a little longer, I'm going to jump on my laptop and I'm going to show you some actual comps for these pieces because it's all well and good saying that the pieces look nice and that I like the brands and stuff, but it means absolutely nothing if I can't sell, uh, tell you what they may out, like most likely will actually sell for online. So stick with me. Let's hop on over and I'm going to show you what all is going on. Okay guys, so we have hopped over to my laptop and I'm real quick gonna show you these five items um, in terms of Poshmark comps. I haven't pulled up eBay comps, um, but it's much the same thing, just on a different platform. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the filters and stuff that I applied to look at these items. So the very first thing I'm gonna look at is those Nike Pro leggings. Those are the ones that were black with like a neon yellow and a white, almost geometric print, but really, really more of like a, it's like a dash print. I don't know. There's, there's a good keyboard for you, dash print. Anyway, um, but they were a full length legging um, and they were a size small. So I went ahead into Poshmark and up here in the search bar where it's next to listings and whatnot, I just put Nike Pro leggings. Now, if they had a very specific um, pattern that, um, you know, say it was a heart pattern or something, I'd absolutely put that keyword in there. And, you know, something like this one right here, that would be a spell out as far as I would be concerned. Um, but since it doesn't have that, I'm just going to go ahead and look at across the board. But what I am going to do is narrow it down. So we've got women, pants, leggings down here. 
Those are my filters that I'm looking at right now. My brand is Nike. My size is size small since that is the size that I got in the box. And I want to go ahead and narrow down by that um, for the sake of this video. However, I will say that when I'm looking at comps in general, I honestly don't really narrow down by size. Um, I will pay attention to it in terms of what is available at the moment. Is my size the only one that's, you know, my item the only one that's there in that size? Because then, you, you know, that's your little slice of the market there if you're the only one right now in a size small or size large or whatever. Um, I'll pay attention to that. When I look at the solds and the prices and stuff, I will also pay attention and look at the uh you know, as a, as a general overview, I will look at the sizes as well, but I don't narrow down by it because I feel like that reduces my data too much, essentially. Um, that's just a personal preference. But anyway, I'm not going to do anything with color either. I feel like that reduces it too much as well. My condition is all, so I will be paying attention to make sure that, you know, if something is new with tags, obviously that's going to sell for higher. And my, uh, down here, I'm going to change availability to sold, um, because obviously that's going to tell me what has sold. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, um, the comps aren't quite as good as I would hope they would be. I've got a 10, 15, 15, 50. I don't know why that's higher. I am obviously looking at some of the more like standout prints. Mine is not a solid and, um, seeing if that makes any kind of a difference. Mine also isn't a hyper warm. It's just Nike pro. These are cropped. So they're not really the same thing since mine is a full length legging. Um, Something like this I feel like is fairly comparable, $17. I guess we have an $8 here as well. Um, $22, again, I feel is comparable because it has like a, a bold print like mine does rather than being a, uh, a solid. Um, let's keep going. I think we get 20 You know, I think we're getting the idea here that something with the standout print tends to be... Uh, you know, I put, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at everything that's selling here. I'm seeing between like anywhere from like $9 to 25 roughly, but it's really sitting in this kind of midway point. Um, full length leggings again, I feel like could do a little bit better. Um, we've got a 20 here. I'm probably going to list them out for around $25 to start with, with a view to dropping them to 25 in a month or two, if I'm not getting many likes on much action. Um, I'm going to start at 25 because I'm always willing to take offers. So that gives me room for negotiation between the, the mark point of like $15 and $25, which seems to be right here in the marketplace. And also we're coming into January. So all the athletic wear is definitely going to be at the top of people's list when they're doing shopping for themselves at this particular point in time or, you know, coming up. So anyway, I'm going to list those Nike Pro leggings um, between I'm going to listen for 25 and I will take offers and we'll see what all happens. Stay tuned and uh, <laughs> hopefully you can see what all it's all for. Okay, so now, let, now let's look at this Nike Golf Black Skirt. So my filter's a little different here. They don't have skirt as an option. They have shorts and skirts. So I'm going to keep both of those um, available. Obviously, still women. Uh, um, um, I didn't do it by size either because I can't affect the size when I can't don't narrow down the category. So I guess we're just looking at everything like I normally would. So that's very enough. So condition all sold. And um, this is actually my exact piece here and it sold for 20. And I think I don't know, size four was my, I can't remember what the size is. I've got lost anyway. Um, so 20, we're looking at 20 there for that one. And um, this is fairly comparable. This sold for 35. <laughs> Let's keep going. We've got a 17. We have a 25. I believe this is mine as well. Although this is a, uh, a larger size, so that goes in its favor most likely. Okay, so I'm probably going to be listing. We've got a 12 here. That's the exact same one. We've got a 16, 17, 20. Okay, I'm going to list this probably around $25 to $30. I'll make my final decision when it comes to listing, but I'm probably going to go ahead 25 to 30, depending on what other sizes are available and if my size is also available. Again, coming up to that, that athletic wear time of year. And uh, we'll see what happens. And again, I will take offers. Okay. Laundry by Shelly Seagal Pinstripe Blazer. That's what I have going on here. Pinstripe, I may have to lose this word. That may have narrowed down too much. I'm not sure. But I got my filters on here all the same again. My size was size 10. And I'm looking at all conditions and the soles. So let's take a look here. All right, 35, I do not mind that at all. 23, eh, okay. 50, but this one was new with tags. 20, mine isn't velvet. I feel like that just is a different market in general. 24, I don't care for 12 or 8. I definitely feel like I can get more for this item just looking at what's going on. 12, I feel like I can do better. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened here. <laughs> 
Uh, let's keep looking. So mine isn't mine isn't mine is definitely career wear twenty nine, uh, and it's a nice silhouette as well. Thirty though this is t they're claiming new without tags. Fifteen. Let's keep looking. We've got twenty six, a twenty, a twenty five, a twenty four. All right, we're probably going to be looking. I'm going to. Now that's new with tags. Probably going to be looking about $30. I'm probably going to list out around $30 to $35, something like that. Uh, because size 10 is a good size as well, and we will see what all happens with that. And, of course, on eBay, I'll take a look at those comps as well. Okay. Um, Faye? Is that how you say it? Faye? Anyway, anthropology top. Um, so we've just got women tops, blouses. Um, it was a size 4. I didn't narrow down by size or anything like that. I'm just looking at sold. So I have 5 sold, which eh, I'm not too sure about that. Um, you got one for 18, 20, 13, 16, 25. Okay, so I'm probably going to list out 25 uh, with a view to taking offers. I feel like, you know, start at the top of the market. You can go ahead and drop from there, obviously. And um, what I will do real quick is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to look at what's available. Let's see. So there's actually not a, a lot available for Faye embroidered top. Uh, we have at least in size four right now. And this certainly is not my one. My one is cream with like embroidery and whatnot. So it is going to be the only one available. Um, with it being a solid, it may do better. I'm not sure. Um, and it is a silk cotton blouse uh, blend as well. So we've got a 38, a 10, and a 43. Man, those are far apart. I'm probably going to list, honestly, I list most, most of my anthropology pieces um, when they're this kind of style, like just a top or, you know, whatever. Um, I usually sell them about 25 and then take the best offer. So I'm probably going to fall into that particular pattern with this piece. But, you know, I'll do a little more delving before I settle on a price. But that's what I'm thinking right now. And my final piece is this Free People oversized cardigan. Um, yeah. This is the piece I was so excited about. So I've got down here cardigans. It was a size small, even though it's... It is so incredibly oversized. Like, I feel like their pieces almost fit anyone when they get like that. Okay, and we're looking at sold. So let's take a look. Now, I did put in the word southwest instead of oversized. Um, and it came up with almost nothing. So I am going to utilize that keyword because I do feel like it is a southwest-inspired kind of color palette and print and stuff. That might help me corner the market just a little bit. Um, but for the sake of looking at the comps right now, I'm just going to look at free people oversized cardigans. Um, so we have one sold for 39, obviously a solid. Now this, my piece is almost like a poncho, but like an open front poncho, just in terms of its layering and its handkerchief hem and its sleeveless, um, as it were, like a short sleeve to it. But um, again, these are all things that are almost too specific to narrow down to when looking at comparables. So 25, 55, 85, 30, 70, and none of these appear to be new with tags, at least not marked as such. We've got a 30, a 42. Honestly, I absolutely love the, like I said, the color palette and the, um, the style of mine, like how layered and stuff it is. I'm probably going to start it high. I'm probably going to try it around the $65 mark, something like that. And we'll see what happens because I'm not seeing anything else that is exactly like mine. I feel like it's going to be pretty popular um, just in terms of its style and whatnot. Like these colors, eh, they're kind of similar, but, you know, not quite. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start it pretty high. We're probably going to start it around 65, maybe even more. Um, be just because it's a good way to fill out the market, you know, I can go ahead and start it high. And then if in a week or two weeks, I've had absolutely no likes and no one, no one gives a hoop for it, <laughs> then I can just drop it down or I can relist it at a different price and start the whole process all over again. So why not fill out the market is what I say. I think it's a good piece. Um, so watch the space. We shall see if I am right or not. Okay. Um, so I think that's everything. That's all five uh, pieces that I had to look up on my Poshmark comps today. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope this was an interesting video to you guys. We all love a good unboxing, I am sure. And um, I hope this was entertaining and uh, gave you another idea about ways to source online and, and some ways that that may be a really good option for you if you can't get out too much. Um, all right, uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the content and you would like to see more. I have plenty of haul videos, plenty of sales videos. If you're interested in becoming online, reseller or are an online reseller and you just want to get to know some people we have a great community going on in the comments and we would love to have you all right you guys i'll talk to you soon bye